What's up guys? We're back and it's Friday, so you know what time it is. It's time for What the Fitness. Hey. And this week, we got a new guy. New guy alert. A lot of people have been sending me this guy. Apparently his video was quite compelling because it was, I'm sure, filled with nothing but facts, no emotion, appeal to conspiracy, or fear mongering whatsoever. This is Kashkan Official. When you put official behind your name, it means that you're the real deal. For all the other Lane Eisman Nortons out there, I am the official. The government of Japan has said that frosted flakes, rice krispies, wheat thins, honey bunches of oats are all causing people cancer and they will not allow no, these said. American foods into the country anymore. They have a potent toxin in them called BHT, <gasps> butylated hydrotoluene. Oh, this chemical is a flavor enhancer that is meant to make these processed foods actually tolerable when you eat them. But Japan has a different <laughs> idea. Why don't we just use real food that actually tastes good? So while countries around the world ban American foods because of how cancer causing they are, we can still get them our stores be careful look for the letters bht on the side of the box if you see it put it back on the shelf do not buy these foods oh no uh okay so first thing and this is this argument when they're like this country's banned this food california's banned a lot of stuff you know california i got some uh weight plates shipped to me one time um and there was a sticker on the side of the the plate that said this contains chemicals known to cause cancer in the state of california California, in fact, made these laws where it didn't matter the dosage at all. If anything was shown to cause cancer in lab rats in any dose, they slapped a Prop 67 or Prop 69 or whatever it is label on it. That's because, I don't know if you guys know this, but politicians aren't scientists. My God, who'd have thought? Really, listening to them talk about scientific issues, you could have fooled me. I was actually sure that our most intelligent scientists are sitting in Congress. No, they're not in government. They're in labs actually doing the freaking research, okay? They, like you, are prone to believe in bullshit. Holy crap, because I don't know if you know this, bodies of legislation are just made up of human beings and human beings have biases and dumb shit that they believe in all the time. Let's look at this compound specifically, BHT, which is an antioxidant in some of these cereals that helps flavor preservation and just keeping the cereal fresh. It's been deemed possibly carcinogenic. So right up there with cell phones, uh, pickles, possibly carcinogenic, That's a, that sounds scary. Okay, well let's look at the studies where they saw carcinogenic effects, all right? Well, these were in mice. Uh, I got this from Joseph Zundel, by the way, who's a cancer biologist. So shout out to Joe. He does great content, follow him on Instagram. I don't know if he has a YouTube, but check him out. Joseph Zundel, cancer biologist, actually does real cancer research, unlike pretty much everybody else talking about cancer. All right, so if we do math and we look at like how much BHT does it take to cause some of these negative outcomes, uh, it's about, in the studies, I believe it was 0.4 milligrams per kilogram. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm about 100 kilograms, just under, and so that would be, 40 milligrams of BHT that I would need to consume per day in order for this to have these sorts of effects shown in the studies. To cut to the chase, essentially there's about 10 milligrams of BHT in a box of Frosted Flakes. You would need to consume, to get the dosage that these mice were fed, 3,500 boxes of Frosted Flakes per day in order to get this same dose. And repeat after me, the dosage makes the poison, okay? This is like the Gary Brecca argument that, oh my God, vitamin B12 supplements have cyanide in them because they're cyanocobalamin. And then you actually do the math, the math on what it would take for somebody to ingest a lethal dosage, well, just the LD50, which the LD50 is the dosage needed to kill 50% of a population in response to a dose. And it's like 43,000 servings of vitamin B12. So I think we're good. Same thing here. I am not really worried about low doses of BHT. There's really no research to suggest that low doses of BHT that are found in the food supply are in any way damaging to health. But that's not gonna stop people from making fear-based content around them, like this guy, you know, convincing you that everything's gonna kill you. 
So again, you know, Japan banned it. I don't really care. Lots of governments ban lots of things for absolutely no reason that makes any sense whatsoever. And some governments don't ban things that would make a lot of sense to ban. Smoking is still legal, even though we know it causes cancer. So why isn't that banned? Oh, gee, I wonder why. Couldn't be money or like it's just part of society now, is it? So come on, guys. Like, be open-minded, but not so open-minded that your brain falls out when you're kind of assessing some of this stuff. And remember, the dosage makes the poison. Catch you guys next time.